Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Adeptus, on how we can blend together multiple textures for rendering with Metal Ray. So to illustrate this, I have a simple scene set up here. And if I were to go ahead and just render this out, as we can see, we have a base texture that's been applied to this sword. So I'm going to save this out so that way we can come back and compare to it later. And let's take a look at how we can add on uh, another texture on top of that directly here within Maya. Now one way we can do this is by using a layered texture. So let's come into the hypershade here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and go full screen at the hypershade just so we can see this a little bit easier. As you can see, um, I actually have a specular map, a normal map, as well as the color here. And this is what we're going to primarily be focusing on for the sake of this video. So let's bring in a layered texture. So I'll go to Create, Layered Texture. I'm going to go ahead and bring this over here. I'd, what I'd like to do is to have my color here be within the layered texture. So I'll just double click on the layered texture. And then middle click and drag my uh, blade color over here. We can get rid of that. So now we have just our blade color. So let's plug our layered texture into the material. So I'll just middle click and drag that onto my material. And we'll plug that into the color channel here. So basically what we've done is we should have the exact same result when we render this out. Let me come back into my perspective view just to make sure that things are going as expected. All right, great. We still have our texture here. So this is before and after applying our layered texture. You see that there's absolutely no difference here, and that's really what we want at this point. So, But now that we have our layered texture set up, we can bring in another texture to place on top of it. So I'm going to come in and just duplicate this uh, blade color here real quick, hitting Control D. And this will be uh, for the, let's say we wanted to put some blood on the end of the sword here. So this will be the blood file. And then we'll take this place 2D texture, and I'll just middle click and drop this into the default in order to get the same placement of the textures between the two. And then we can bring this into our layer texture and middle click and drag this to the front. Okay, so now we just need to bring in the um, actual blood texture and I've gone ahead and set up a texture um, that basically just has some kind of red blood on the tip of the sword here. So I'll go ahead and add this in. So as we can see, we have our blood texture applied to the actual sword. We can kind of see a little bit of a preview of how this is going to look here in the layered texture. And we can see it's been applied to the material here. So let's go ahead and render this out. Um, as we can see here in the viewport, it's looking pretty good. But if we notice when we render this out here in Metal Ray, uh, we're not getting the texture of the base. So we have, this was before, with we have this base texture, the kind of this metal texture on the blade. And once we've added this layered texture with the blood on the tip, we've lost that texture underneath. Now this is completely white because if we notice we have the um, white background on the texture. But if we were to uh, pull up this texture here, I'll just pull up real quick here in F-Check. Uh, as we can see, we have the uh, white background we do have an alpha channel that's applied to this, so this should be coming through. Uh, but as we can see, it's definitely not coming through here in Metal Ray. Now, if I were to save this and try rendering this out with the Maya software renderer, as we can see, we're getting the uh, base texture here using the Maya software renderer. But when we compare that to Metal Ray, we're definitely not getting that base texture. So if we ever come across an issue where we're not having this texture come in, if we take a look at how the uh, layered texture is set up, we can see that we have our blood file here and it's actually using an over blend mode. So if we're getting an issue where the over blend mode is not giving us the results that we want, there's a couple of different workarounds that we could use, really depending on what look we're going for as well as which workflow we prefer. Now, one is to simply switch this blend mode to something like a multiply. Now, multiply as opposed to the over blend mode, uh, multiply isn't going to take into account the alpha channel for applying the actual texture. Now, the alpha channel is taken into account for the opacity of the um, texture. So it will take into account the opacity for this blood. 
but it won't actually take into account the alpha channel for the texture itself. So um, it's kind of a little difficult to understand, but let's go ahead and render this out. I need to switch my renderer to middle ray here. So as we can see, uh, we're getting our base texture here. Now the reason for that is, uh, kind of as, as I was saying before, the multiply blend node is, we can think of it as laying it on top and then multiplying the foreground and the background. Now, in this case, the foreground being the blood color and the background being the blade color. Since I have uh, white anywhere that I don't have the blood on this particular texture, when it's multiplied, that's kind of seen as transparent. So that's giving us this nice look, whereas the uh, overblend mode is actually taking a look at the alpha channel, and that's really what was giving us the uh, undesirable result when rendering with metal ray. So this was the before with the over blend mode and this is with the multiply blend node. Now if we are still having some issues with this layered texture there's actually a, a metal ray texture that we could use or a metal ray node rather that we could use. So let's take a quick look at how we can set that up. So I'm going to come in let's go to create and it'll be down here towards the bottom it looks like it's actually being cut off so I'll tear this off here and move the menu up. It's actually under this metal ray data conversion and we'll look for the color mix node. So once we have this created, go ahead and close out of this menu here, we have this color mix node and if we take a look at how this is in the uh, attribute editor, and you see it's very similar to kind of the way the layered texture works in that basically we'll have the color base so that's going to be, in this case, the blade color. So I'm going to click and drag that into the base color. And what we want to do is to uh, mix a texture in. So uh, we'll start with color zero. And let's bring in the blood texture file here so we can add that into color zero. And now we need to make sure that we actually plug this into the uh, material. So I'll plug this into the color here. Now let's come back and try rendering this out. And by default, it's going to render out completely black. Now, the reason for this is because we're only using actually one mix color. So we have our color base, that's the base metal color. And then we have the blood plugged into color zero. But if we scroll up here, we can see that metal ray er, is looking for actually two different colors. And since we only have one, we can bring this down to one. And now if we were to render this out, we can see that uh, very similar to the way that the over blend mode was working uh, with the layered texture, we're getting the same result. We're still having some difficulty actually reading the alpha for this texture. Now, but now we can come in and very similar to what we did with the layered texture, we can switch the mode for mode zero since we have it plugged into color zero. We can switch that, let's say something like multiply once again. And we can see that the result that we get is very similar to the result that we got with the layered texture where basically it's going to be laying the um, color on top of the base color. So this is the, the mode one color laid on top of the base color and then have that multiplied. So we're getting a very similar result since we have the red color and then everything else being white. Once that's multiplied, it looks like it's transparent. So that's a quick look at just a couple different techniques that we can use in order to mix some colors together, either using the layered texture or the actual MIB color mix node within Metal Ray. Now, if you want a closer look at some of the very powerful nodes available in Metal Ray, check out the Metal Ray Nodes online reference library.